In this video, we will be proving infinite primes of the form 4k plus 1 and 8k minus 1. To prove that there are infinite primes of this type, I will take use of the legendary symbol. So, before starting the statement and the proof, let me to recall some of the results that we have done in the legendary symbols. We know that a by p, this is a legendary symbol. This takes two value, either it is plus 1 or it is minus 1. If a is quadratic residue of p and in other case, if a is quadratic non-residue of p or I may say x square is congruent to a modulo p is solvable. This is solvable. So this means I can say the legendary symbol a by p this value is 1. So I am going to use some of these results while proving that there exist infinitely many primes of the type 4k plus 1. So let us consider the statement of the theorem first. So it says there are infinitely many primes of the form 4k plus 1 and I'll start my proof on the contradiction. So suppose that there are finite number of primes. So I'm just considering that suppose that there are finite numbers of primes. In this case when there are finite number of primes let us give them the names and I'm just calling them say p1, p2, p3 up till so on pn. So I'm just considering them to be finite so this last number is fixed and also consider an integer capital N which is twice of the product of these prime take the whole square of that and then plus add one. Now we can see that the n is odd we can see this from here that n is odd because it is twice of something this is an even quantity and then we have taken whole square plus 1 so n is odd and we can see from the above that n is of the form 4k plus 1. So by division algorithm there exists a odd prime p such that this p divides n for every prime p divides n because n is an, a composite number and there must exist some prime that will divide this n. This implies we can say that 2 times p1 up till pn whole square plus 1 is congruent to 0 modulo p. If this number, if n, this is the value for capital N, if p divides n, then this should be congruent to 0 modulo p. This congruence should hold. Or in another way, I can say that this p1 whole square is congruent to minus 1 modulo p. This should hold. Now we can see that this congruence look like similar to x square is congruent to a modulo p. So this is similar to this type of the congruence and in this case we can say that this congruence is solvable. Solvable for some particular x. I mean there exists a value of x which will ensure that this congruence exists. If this is solvable in that case the legendary symbol a by p is equal to 1. So we can say the above congruence hold if minus 1 by p this value is 1. In other cases, if this above congress does not hold, so this means for no value of x, we can write down this congress. But what is the condition? We have said that there exists a prime p such that that will divide. That means for the existence of this prime, we must should have this quantity. And in my earlier videos, we have seen that legendary symbol minus 1 by p also takes two value, of course, because legendary symbol always take the two value. 1 if p is of the form 4k plus 1. And the another value if p is of the form 4k plus 3. So that guarantees here that p is of the form 4k plus 1. This is of the form 4k plus 1. So we see here what we have taken. We have said that there exists an odd prime p such that p divides n. Now this odd prime we have not defined exactly what this odd prime is. Either it is 4k plus 1 or 4k plus 3. The form of n is fixed. Okay, n is 4k plus 1. Now it guarantees that p is also 4k plus 1. And from here we can see as p divides n and p is of the form 4k plus 1. So p must be one of p i's only where i lies between 1 and n. We have selected n number of primes which are of the form 4k plus 1. They are fixed prime. And as p i is one of the p i form, let's say p is taking the value p k. Okay, so that for that particular k, this value is exactly equal. So we can say now, of course, this pk divides the product of all these primes because pk is appearing back into this uh, product. And also this pk, which is actually the value for p, divides capital N. This means pk divides, what is the value for n? This is twice of p1 up till pn whole square minus 1. Now taking the linear combination of this and this, 
we get that pk divides 1 which is a contradiction as pk is a prime and pk has to be strictly greater than 1 so this ensures that there exist infinitely many primes of the form p 4k plus 1 infinitely many primes of the form 4k plus 1 that proves our result. The second result that we wish to prove is that there are infinitely many primes of the form 8k minus 1. So let us prove for this cause also and the technique is same. We are going to assume on contrary to that suppose there are finite number of primes. So suppose there exist finite primes of the form 8k minus 1. Now in this case let us call these prime as p1, p2 up till so on pn so we consider these prime and i'm considering now a number appropriately that will give us the contradiction so consider capital n four times p1 up till pn whole square minus two up. now the reason that why i have left here the uh, quantity two is because we also have a result of the legendary symbol two by p we know that two by p this value is plus one or it is minus one if that prime is of the form 8k plus minus one and here if that prime is of the form 8k plus minus 3. So rather than working on to 1. So in the last result we worked on to 1. Because that can be have a relation when the prime is of the form 4k plus 1. So its value is 1. And here when the prime was 4k plus 3 the value was minus 1. Now when we want to divide this into 8 class. We have a result already done in the gender symbol in the last class. Where we have 2 instead of a. So 2 by p is plus 1 if p is of this form. So in this case that we want to focus here. 8k minus 1 class is here. And this value is plus 1. So I am going to use now this. While proving this uh, result further. And that is why you can keep here this number as capital N. As 4 times product of the prime whole square. Minus twice. And we can see also here. That n is of the form. N is of the form. 16a minus 2 we can see here it is 4 square minus 2 so this is of the form 16a minus 2 so again by division algorithm we'll consider that there exists at least one odd prime p of n such that n is congruent to 0 modulo p and hence 4 times of this quantity is congruent to 2 modulo p now again in view of legendary symbol as i've just discussed here we can see here i've just discussed here in view of legendary symbol the above congress is solvable if we say that 2 by p this legendary symbol value is 1 if it is not solvable that means there exists no such prime but that's not true by the division algorithm there exists some prime considering that this n is a composite number now we only want to show what is the form of that particular prime and in that and also by legendary symbol if this hold the solution exists for this congress this means legendary symbol is equal to 1 so from here we can say that p is of the form plus minus 1 modulo 8. This would be the possibility for p. Now let's take both the possibility. So when p is of the form 8k plus 1. In this case as we are saying that p divides n. This means n is congruent to 0 modulo p. And when they both are congruent to n is congruent to 0 mod p. And also p is congruent to 0 mod p because p itself divides. So that ensures that the remainder for both the prime is also congruent to 0 mod p and n is also congruent to 0 mod p. So if p is of the form 8k plus 1, it is obvious that n should also be of this form. Let's call this as 8a plus 1, which is not true because n, the value for the n is 4 times the product of the primes whole square minus 2. So we can say that n is of the form 16a minus 2. This is the form. So we reach to a contradiction of the form of the n as I have explained here. So p is equal to 8k minus 1 and this p divides n. So now we know that there exists an odd prime p and the form of the odd prime is 8k minus 1 and this odd prime divides capital N. But we have assumed that there are finite number of primes of the form 8k minus 1. That is P1 to Pn. This implies P must be one of these Pi. P must be one of above. And let's say that P is equal to Pk for some k. Okay? 
for some k and k lies between of course 1 to n now for this p k i say that this divides n because p k is exactly p we have taken now the p as p k and that divides n and so p is equal to p k that divides n this implies p k divides this quantity and also p k divides the product of these prime so just taking out the linear combination this will again give me a possibility that p k divides 2 which is further a contradiction which is a contradiction because we know that this is an odd prime so it can't be 2 p k has to be greater than 2 as p k is an odd prime so this shows that there are infinitely many odd primes of the form 8k minus 1 and hence we prove the result